Hey everyone, welcome to Quasar's Customs. I am Hearst Quasar, and we are doing Rot to Rad as a series in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Uh, these last two cars were the last two. This is episode one, the Volvo Road Car. This is episode two, the Camaro Z28. Now, I did take a look. Um, I do have other votes from people that have noted me on the side about the Volvo and uh, basically it is to sell so it is out of here so we will sell this ride we got hundred thirty six thousand dollars out of it so not too shabby not too shabby as far as the Camaro um, this one with the episode, I tried to do the poll at the end of the video. Didn't really work out that great. I had one sell, one save. Um, and then I was looking at it. I, I piddled around with it, and I actually hit the uh, save button. So my vote isn't going to count. So I had one save, one sell. Now, I know in the last video I said at least five comments, at least five votes, um, but we are going to press on. I did get at least three votes, one save, one sell in the um, in the poll, and then I did get a comment back on this one saying to sell it. So unfortunately, this bad boy is out the door. Yes. So, even though we don't really have any more cars in our bay, um, it's time to go shopping. So, what do you say we go shopping? So, all right. So, the Z28 is not going to be built again. We're not going to rebuild the Volvo road car. Um, but we'll, we'll go and see what we shall see. Let's find ourselves a good one this time, shall we? All right. Ooh, the junkyard looks a little empty these days. Don't know about this. It's kind of creepy. All right, well, we got, uh, looks like we got a Mustang down here. Oh, this is a Shelby Mustang, a GT Shelby. This is from Dead Bob 777. 169,000 miles. It's a resto mod, too, so that's a nice one. Uh, that means it's probably got, uh, yep, it's got the Cobra, or the Coyote engine. In it. So, uh, 169. Got to beat the 169. Um, what do we have in here? Oh, this is a cute little car. I think this is a. Um, this is from Fully Sick. This is a. This is kind of a tricked out car. I've never. I haven't done one of these. Um, 211. So, um, the Cortina Custom, 1966 Ford Lotus Cortina Custom. Um, yeah, 211. So far, the Mustang over there wins. Let's see what we got going on over here. Anything? Anything? No? Man, I wish we could get those Suburbans, man. Oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry. And this bus. You know, like I was joking, um, I was joking in one of the episodes that I had recorded, this bus right here would be great for uh, my movie cars for speed. Yeah, Keanu Reeves and speed. Go figure. All right, well, nothing. Oh, oh, another Mustang. Okay, this looks like uh, this might be the sicko one by Fully Sick. Um, 128. Ooh. Ooh, looks like this one might beat everything out. And it's got a supercharged two-car overhead valve V8. Um, so far, the sicko looks about it. Now, if you're wondering why it looks like it's like it is in the back here, I think it's because this is a a burnout car. Um, they have burnout contests, so I think that's what that is. So what? Oh wait a minute. What's, what's this? 128. Okay, so if we don't find anything that's less than 128. Sicko is going to be the one. Okay, we have an El Camino. El Camino. What do we got for that? Oh, 195. So it looks like that's it for the cars. Looks like the Sicko is the one we are going to grab. So luckily, it was the less of them all. And, uh, man, I'm wondering what. 
He's got two different wheels on here. I know he's done that on purpose, but I've got to fix that. Um, yeah, 4711. 67 Mustang? Sure. All right. Let's get back to the garage, shall we? All right. Back in the garage, and I have to say, I've got to, I think this is going to get built a different way. Um, typically, I do the... Uh, typically I do like the suspension work and then the end and then the body work. Um, this really requires the body on it for me to figure out um, tire sizes on the rear. So I am going to go um, all out. Let's see, take those off. Yep, fender. That's all the pieces, right? Um, ooh, it looks like we got a flat tire there. Um, all right, can I? Well, let's just. I tell you what. Why don't we just replace all of them? Seeing how so we made, we did make a lot of cash from our last sell. So um, let's see if we just can't buy all the pieces for this bad boy. A 1967 is sicko, huh? Um. 1967. I don't think the sicko part of it is. Oh man, this is okay. So sicko. Okay, so we got a hood. All right, I'm good. I'm good. Um. Wow. Um. This is going to be interesting. It's a sicko rear window sticker. Okay. All right. So we've got uh, GT500 stock. Clean. Painted. It's a front bumper with driving lights. Um, let's go clean. We'll go clean. Um, uh, we'll go with the deluxe wood trim. How's that? We'll go with the wood trim. Um, and, uh, I don't know if it's the flared ones or the stock ones. I'm going to go with the stock ones. Um, got that, got the sicko hood. Um, option one stock headlights. Um, I think I went pretty much stock on that, right? Um, so we're going to go stock, stock, fast back style. Uh, lower lights, no lower lights. Um, I think I'm going to go with the stock. Uh, I'm going to go stock option there. Vents it had, vents it had. Um, man, a lot of options here. I think I'm... Pretty close, let's see. Option two, stock. Body painted roof, body painted roof. Um, I don't know what the options are. Um, go stock with that. I think that's all the pieces, man. I, I've, I've been looking at this, so. Um, this is gonna be interesting. No, no, that's not what I want. Um, body parts. Let's, uh, let's see how this is going to play out. How interesting this is going to look here. We're going to let it look almost stock, but the rear window is going to be like, oh yeah. 
So let's see how that's let's see how this plays out for me. This may not play out very well for me, so I'm a GM guy, so you know, even though I, I am a GM guy, I do like the Mustangs. I I do. Um got that all done. Front end uh wood features. Okay, so that, okay, let's see here. All right, I got to get the other headlights, it looks like. So, All right, it's looking like I probably need to get the other headlights. So let's jump back in here. Um, it's a GT500 headlights. So maybe I just need to, well, let's just put the stock headlights in here and see what happens. Um, yeah, that's, I don't know if that's supposed to look like, I don't think that's supposed to look like that. So, dang it. So the front end with the wood trim, right? Um, <clears throat> uh, I don't think it matters, does it? Headlights don't look like they, they're right. And I think these are going to be too dark. But. Let me check. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, you know, I don't know, to be honest with you. I think I'm gonna stick with the wood trim. I think I'm gonna. Well, I, you know, I like, I like. Um. All right, I'm going to. I'm going. To, is this going to be kind of goofy looking? Maybe, but uh, I think I'm gonna put the regular headlights in it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put the regular headlights in it. Okay, so we've got that all situated. Um, how are you faring in the back? Okay. Um, should we put the classic Mustang wheels on this? I'm definitely going with... Uh, because this is a... Because this is a... Uh, oh, that says GT on the side. Does this say GT on the side? Yeah. Um... Just because this is like one of those burnout machines. The wheels are really small on the back and they get really, they get smoked them out. So, um, I do like, I actually do like those. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put the custom, um, we're going to put those all the way around it. I'm going to widen them up back here. That's what we're going to do. This, this is the first um, this is the first sicko um, fully sick car that I've done and this is by fully sick you can definitely get this out of the uh, steam workshop and I highly advise it uh, you can tear this sucker down to parade rest as you can tell we took it all the way down to the uh, we took it all the way down to the framework on this one um, speaking of which I really need to Get that welder over here real quick so we can take care of the frame um, we'll get this back taken care of and then um, 
we'll get the framework done and I think we will probably jump into the we'll probably just jump right into the motor we'll switch it up a little bit we'll jump right into the motor before we build the front suspension on this what do you think get rid of all this old exhaust system cover my face with all the rust that's underneath here my golly but we got lucky. This thing does have some low miles on it, so this is going to be a nice build after it's done. Um, at least one would think. A fully sick doesn't really have a high price tag on some of his cars, so um, for whatever reason, um, his cars do not sell or don't have a higher value like um, some of the other other modders do. And I'm not even sure what what it um, in the config file what it takes to change the value of a car um, for all I know it's done while they build it and that didn't have anything in it okay all right let's uh there's probably not a whole lot in here I can salvage So I forgot I had all these body parts in here. So let me one take care of those. And it did pick up. I, I did pick up uh, all the things that are actually came on this. So I'm very happy about that. Um, you know what I didn't know though was this. Uh, does, is there a mirror on this side? Yeah. Okay. So we stuck with the stockish looking mirrors. Um, which is fine. Oh, crap. Did I put the... I did not. And I just sold them. Okay. Um, yeah. Big doofus on that part. Alright, let's, uh, let's jump back into the body parts here real quick. I need... I don't know what side I need. I think it's that side, but I'll get both of them. Hey, I've got some money. I've got some money to burn, right? Okay, got that. Got that side. Is the body in pretty good shape? Interior, global body, 92%. Um, it's from this welder over here. Okay, so, yep, now we got a nice chrome framework underneath there uh, global body is 92 percent what am i missing on the body uh front license plate seat rear license plate seat and a bench spectra bench steering wheel okay so i'm missing some interior pieces obviously um I think I think we look pretty good. I, we probably could have flared that fender out a little bit, but that's all right. Okay, um, let's get down to let's uh, take care of this stuff here. Typical stuff. Uh, all right. I think we have an idea here. Need one of those. Dose those, dose those. Suspension. Um, two of those uh, rubber bushings. I think they're. I want to say the small rubber bushings. I could be wrong. Let's see. What do we got here? What do we got here, boys? What do we got here? Um, dump all the parts out. Oof. Yeah, we got some bad... Got some bad pieces in here. Um, okay, so all that's good. We got... Um, not too terribly bad. I've seen worse. I've seen worse. So a couple U-bolts, a C housing, and a leaf spring. Okay. So, two of those. 
Um, B housing. And... Was that it? I thought there was more than that, right? Oh, the plate. Two, three, four. Oh, it's a C housing. I needed a C housing. What the heck am I thinking? I needed a C housing. C housing and a plate. Wow. Yeah, don't bring me to any uh, family games where the memory is required because uh, I couldn't do it. <laughs> uh, I would be so bad on your team. All right, um, totally forgot the fuel tank. Get the fuel tank and... Oh, I didn't mean to bow out. Dang it. Um... Pick up the fuel pump. This thing's going to be a badass. It needs everything possible for it to be a badass. Now, I've got to figure out the wheel to tire ratio here. So this is going to be a little tricky. I want to fill the entire um, wheel well with a wheel, with a tire. So that means I'm going to go super wide. And... I know this is not what it was intended for, but hey. I think it'll look pretty cool after it's done. Alright, so stick around the end of this. I want to know, would you sell it or do you want to save it? Uh, so far, you guys have been cruel. You've sold off all the cars that... Uh, the only two cards that I've had from episodes one and two. So this is episode three, third time's a charm. Maybe because it's a Mustang. Maybe you'll like it and uh, you'll let me keep it. I don't know. Definitely not going to do the pull thing again because that didn't work out very well. So I am just going to ask for you to hit me up in the comment section down below. And I don't have another leaf spring. What? That's redonkulous. Did I sell it by mistake? I don't know. That seems awful odd. We have one now. So yeah, hit me up in the comment section down below. And hopefully... We'll get to this together. You let me keep a car. It's not like I need it for a collection or anything. I've got all the movie cars mm -hmm. and I've got all the Fast and Furious cars. So, you know, it's crazy. Um, okay, get that. Oh, I needed this over here. Pushing. Now, yeah. Yeah, I want to put the same wheel all the way around on it. I know this is not um, typical of a burnout car. I, I realize that. I call it a burnout car. I'm not even sure what it's called. Fully sick. What is it called? A sicko? I don't know. All right. So, um, what size tire was it? Let's dump these pieces out. It's a 15 inch tire. So, um, 15 inch. I gotta remember which ones they are on the front. Because I want to try to kind of keep with the style a little bit. I really thought that was a new style wheel, too. Maybe it wasn't. I'm looking. I'm looking. Um, is it? Oh, it's these right here. Okay, so I have never, ever used these wheels. Never. Um, so this will be interesting. Okay. Um, 
buy two of those. Let me make sure that's appropriate. Yeah, I think so. Um, so what size are you up front? You are you are an 18 up front. Holy smokes! Okay. Okay. All right. Um. Hmm. 18s look really good on there too. Okay, so let me. Okay, okay, okay. So let me try to put 18s on the back here. This may be. Um, just a little ridiculous. Um, let me chrome these up. Uh, I've got 15s and 18s. I don't want the 15s. I want the 18s. All right, let's uh, let's dump the 15s out before I get them confused here. All right, um, chrome those bad boys up. Man, I don't know if I can get an 18 up underneath there. Uh, and the wheels were a. It's a 205. So. Um, I want to go with a white letter tire. Two, eighteen. Jeez, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be a tough call on this. Um, let's go with a three hundred five with a thirty profile. We'll see how that. And we'll see how that fits up underneath there. Hmm. I like the little I may have gone way oversized with this so I'm gonna test fit one up yeah I mean that's 18 inch tire ridiculous all right so let's see what this looks like Oh, not too bad, I don't think. Man, I could definitely go wider with that. Holy Jesus. Okay. Okay, let's put the front wheel back on. Man, I could definitely go a little bit wider. Um, yikes. Okay. All right. That was a 305. So let's go with a, um, go with a 355. That's uh, 305. 305. Let's go with a 355. 25. Yikes. That's going to be humongous. 355. All right, let's take this bad boy off. We're going to throw some meats on the back of this. This is going to be a nice cruiser before it's all over, that's for sure. Um, and I already know what color I'm going to paint it. That looks ridiculous. That's ridiculously wide. Um, maybe I should have put a, an ET on this to stick him out a little bit farther. That probably would have helped a little bit. Okay. Um, maybe I should have gone with a little thicker tire. I went with a 25. Maybe I should have went with a 30. 
I jumped up in size so much though I thought maybe this would be the best way to do it um, okay so a 255 definitely feels fills the uh, geez it's still wow it's still I could still go wider okay um and that's slightly flared on the back too I think that's fine. It's slightly flared on the front of these two. Okay. Um, so, yeah, always deciding on the wheels. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it that way. Um... Actually, no. I'm going to go. I'm going to step it up. I'm going to go with a 30. I'm going to go with the 30 tire. So, let me go with a. We're going to go with a 355. We're going to go with a 30. Yeah. Uh, 355, 30. 305, going away. 305, going away. 355, 30 is going away. Give it a little more meat on the skin there. But I think I'm going to leave it at that. Alrighty, the moment of truth. Ah, uh, come on. Testing one, two, three. All right, that looks pretty dang good. Um, fills out the wheel wells very well. Now I know I know why they're typically they don't have um, typically they don't have they have skinnier wheels. So and this kind of sticks out a little bit. It kind of makes me want to. Yeah, it'll be fine. I was gonna say it makes me either want to put the rear wheels stick the rear wheels out a little bit, like give it an offset of uh, like ten to twenty to bring this out closer to the wheel well but uh, it's up in the wheel well pretty good so we're going to keep it I think we're going to keep it just like so um, yeah not really an exhaust system on it so I may take that uh, lower oh these are lower lights yeah that's a lower light all right um, oh wait a minute wait a minute Open the hood. Open the hood. I said open the hood. Thank you. Um, it's got a vinyl top. Okay, let's get rid of the exhaust system here. Hey, this thing has a starter in it? Jeez, most most of the cars I get out of the junkyard doesn't even have don't have a starter. Okay, so we're going to dump that out. We are going to pull the engine. Which I am actually really surprised. I'm going to try and keep... I'm going to try and keep this. Yeah, this thing's in horrible shape. So, 
And a good amount of the engine is there. Okay, so... Why aren't you wanting to come off, my dear? There we go. Um, yeah. Cause I think we're just gonna trash most of this. All I want is the block. If I can salvage some of the pieces off here, I will, but... Honestly, it doesn't look like... There's a lot of whole lot here to salvage. So this is fine. And take away. Yeah, these parts are in bad shape. I'm surprised this car is still on four wheels, to be honest with you. Well, if anything, this will help me out with my uh, my badge. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to work up the badges. I've got like four or five badges left to go. Just a pain, painful. Some of the things I got to do. Sell cars. So I've sold two today. So that's two more than I had sold in a while. So I still got to sell probably about 250 more of them. Before I can get that badge. It's a ridiculous badge. And all this for the block. You know, I always... <laughs> I don't know why I did it this way. Okay. Um, try to save, salvage the block and the crank. That would be interesting if I can save the crank too. Um, but it's not necessary. Is there an oil pan on? There isn't even an oil pan on this. So. And most of the stuff I'm just going to trash anyway. Well, this is probably one of the most more complete engines I've seen coming out of the junkyard, to be honest with you. Okay, so how are the pistons in here? Not a damn one of them have a, a piston cap on it. Why are you refusing to come out? Oh, crankshaft bearings. Ha <laughs> ha. That makes that makes total sense. Like I said, I'm so used to these engines not being not having hardly anything in them. Yeah, crankshaft cap right there. Okay. Now you'll come out, and now you'll come out. All right, let's see what I can repair. So I'm just going to repair everything. I'm just going to start getting rid of a bunch of crap, too. So I didn't even see the block on there. Oh, my God. Is, is the block that I do? I did all this, and the block isn't even worth a damn. All right. Breathe. I'm going to breathe. Um, can I just sell all these parts? I think I can because I'm not going to use any of this. Well, I could use that in the starter. Ah, oh, I got a crank. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I will sell parts that are Below 18%. Okay, that got rid of a few of them. Didn't work out quite like I wanted it to, but that's okay.
Just kill these off one at a time. Alright, so what we have to work with here is not a whole hell of a lot. Alright, I, I gotta breathe. This has turned into a money pit. For sure, it has turned into a money pit. Alright, but we have the technology, we can rebuild it. We have the scoop. Um... Cam gear. Get the camshaft out of the out of the power shop. Two of the clips. Got a crankshaft. I need the three bearings. I need a pulley. Uh, definitely need a block. Um, Heads are someplace else. Get the covers. Almost missed that one. Exhaust from over there. Coil all that stuff over there. Uh, we're not down into the supercharged stuff yet. Uh, oil filter, oil pan, rings, fan, uh, rocker arms. These are always a pain. These, these engines are always a pain to, to build because you've got all these little intricate pieces in there. Cap. I want to say you're going to have one of these, you're going to have one of uh, these. Uh, supercharger, supercharger, you want one of those, you want one of those. Uh, timing chain, timing chain, timing chain. Yes, we don't need to cover because we have that, luckily. Didn't save us a whole lot of money, but that's okay. 16 rods. And I already got that water pump pulley. So now we're going to jump over to the power boost shop. Um, alternator, definitely. Uh, overhead valve camshaft, yes. Two... Oh, you know what? I needed to get those filters, those air filters. Um, two heads. Um, two headers. Fuel filter. Coil. Distributor. Super cap. Rotor. Wires. Piston times eight. Power steering. Eight spark plug wires. All right, so we have to go back over here. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, uh, man. Gearbox. One of those, one of those, one of those. Gearbox. One of those. And I need those. Uh, no, no, I don't need that. Um, I need those filters. There they are, right here. I need two of those. Um, and I think that will about do it. Let's, um... Let's see if I can just build one here. Let's build one. Where are you? Supercharged. There we go. That bad boy right there. Okay, let's spin it around. And let's commence to build. 
finally. Got all the pieces, I believe. I think we're going to be in good shape. I think I can wing this pretty good. We shall see. I always mess up and I always forget something, so I'm sure I've forgotten something in this build as well. Figure we're doing it a little bit different. We'll get the engine knocked out of the way. And uh, this way we can concentrate. Uh, let's see. That goes on there. Clip B and then another clip back here. Right, right on. Okay. I didn't mean to hit that, but that's okay. Well, let's go ahead and throw that on there. Just trying to work my way around to the back here. You know, I wish it was this easy just to build an engine in my garage, because I wish I had the money to build the engines. How's that? This Mustang's going to be a badass Mustang, that's for sure. Let's uh, flip her over. Let's get the bottom end done before I go messing with anything else. Yep, just one at a time, just one at a time. It's pretty sad though, we weren't able to salvage the block out of this. I was so hopeful. You know, numbers matching car and all. But, oh well. It's worth what's going to be worth. Okay, headers. Spark plugs, spark plugs, spark plugs, spark plugs. Gotta admit, though, there's nothing like the isolation of a nice garage to <laughs> keep you keep you isolated. I mean, I have nobody around me. I mean, this is great. I get to do what I love, and I have nobody around me to pester me. What do you think about that? All right, supercharger is going on. Might as well just throw everything on here. Before I do the heads, of course. Alright, so what color am I going to paint this bad boy? I'm thinking just straight up red. Um... Jeez, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to get it a crazy color. Because it's got a black vinyl top. So we'll we'll have to see. Well, I'll, I'll take it in the paint shop and we'll we'll experiment with a few colors, much like we did with the rear wheels. Jeez. 
Jeez, this is such so painful. Actually, I think I'm going to leave this in the stand until I get the front end taken care of. Because I don't want to drop this in on the rotted uh, suspension. It could fall right straight through and ruin all my work. So, I'm going to keep it on the stand. Admire it for a little bit. And I forgot to take a snapshot out in the junkyard. And I always keep, try to keep it uh, kind of generic. That way, keeps you guessing on what the car is until I select it at least. All right. As painful as this is, this is almost done. We get the head cover on here. Belt and fan up front, and we are done. There we go. All right, that's a beautiful piece of engine work right there. All right, um, we are going to take care of. Logistics in here. I don't know if there's anything that I can do with any of this stuff. Um, oh, it looks like it's in bad shape. Yep, that's what I thought. Not a damn thing fixed. Okay. Money pit. I'm telling you, it's a money pit. Everything, everything needs to be replaced. Why does that back tire look so bad? much bigger than that tire I have no idea that's done that's done oh the radiator got fixed you're kidding me right wow okay, let's get a module ABS pump brake servo okay uh Servo. There it is, right there. Alright, that looks decent. Alright, let's send her up. And clear out these. I'm using. I'm going to use the same size on these. So, thought the fronts looked good. I just needed to fill in the back, so that'll be that'll be worthwhile. At least there's no guesswork on the fronts. I'm just use, just going to use the same sizes. I know you're thanking me right now, right? Well, I know I would. It's like, damn, Hurst, make up your mind on the rear wheels. How big those freaking tires are back there. Crazy thick. Yeah, this is gonna be terrible. I don't think there's gonna be a damn piece that ever that is going to be worthwhile fixing on this. I'll be lucky. I'll be lucky if I have twenty five percent of the pieces repaired. I might as well just start looking for all the pieces now and just say the hell with it and just rebuild the whole thing. Oh well. This will definitely get me... I think this is going to look really nice after I get done with it to be honest. You guys tell me to sell this one. I'm going to be shocked. I think you guys are just... It's a conspiracy. You don't like anything I build. So you're making me sell everything. Which I really don't mind. Because, hey. I'm making the money off of it. So, you know. I don't know what I would do with everything. But... I don't know what they'd do with the money. But... 
That's all right. We'll figure it out. Everything, ever just just crash everything, would you? <laughs> all right. Let's. Okay. Let's just get down to. Yeah. Let's just get down to business, shall we? Because we already know what we're going to need. We're going to need two of these, one of those, uh, two of those, two of those. Uh, for the suspension, two of those, two of those, two of those. Might as well get a couple of bottom suspension arms because I, I, I don't think that's uh, B. Uh, we'll get one wheel hub because I'm sure that was shot. Uh, rubber bushing times 12. In link 2. Bearing 2. Cap 2. Um, yeah, let's see what other damage I've got going on here. Um, let's see if I can... Can I... Effectively, uh, I might be able to salvage these rims. I don't know. That one definitely. I don't know about the 22 one. Um, got you. Let's get you set up. See if I can salvage these rims. Hey, I saved the salvage them. Good deal. All right, let's take them into the paint shop here. Chrome them up. Yeah, the more I think about it, I think I'm going to paint it red. What size tires were you? Let's dump you guys out because I don't need you. Look at that. I didn't need either bottom of those. I, neither one of the bottom ones. Huh. Um, just going on a selling spree. Trying to get some of my money back. 255.30s. Okay, so 255.30s. got that tires all right so I need an upper and a C knuckle hey that's not too shabby I'm actually I'm actually surprised She really surprised. Whew. Yeah, this has been a long day. Been building, building the cars all day long. Right, let's get this lower one in. Did I grab that? Nope, it's still sitting over there. Looking for the spring. I still left one of the springs over there. 
So when I transition over, I have to remember myself to go to the back of the car to pick up that spring on my way by. You know, for the performance parts, I would like to see the red bushings, like the red neoprene bushings. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be cool. Or they come in different different colors. Blue, yellow, red, green. As long as it was neoprene, it'd be alright. Neoprene bushings will give you less give in the suspension. It makes the suspension a little bit tighter. So, for those who don't know... Okay, so how's the profile on that going to look? Um, see how that's sticking out? Man. I mean, that, that bad boy's right on the edge. I may have to do something with the rear. I may have to go with an ET. I may have to go with an ET on this. So I got a lot of gap. Okay, so 18 inch rims. Let me just, let me, let me think, let me think. Damn. I, I thought I was going to be good with that, but I, I can't. Let's get two 18 inch rims with an ET of... Uh, we'll go 15. Jeez, I don't, I don't really know. I don't know how much farther that's going to stick it out. Ah. just can't let it go. I just can't let it go. It, it bugs me. So do you have a quirk like, do you, do you guys have any quirks? I mean, everybody has a quirk, but do you have something that just like, it, it bugs the crap out of you to, until you have to have it done? Alright, well, uh, in the meantime, might as well try to get this back together. Down. Bearing in there. Brake. Cap. Plates. Or should say pads. What did I say plates for? And then we'll put the front wheel on there. 255. All right. Now for the moment of truth. We'll see how these fit up on there. I don't know how it's going to fit, to be honest. I'm hoping... It's got to be better, but I'm hoping it doesn't... I'm hoping it doesn't stick too far out. So let's get rid of those. Oh, I got a I got a rubber bushing. I got a missing bushing here. Uh, 
All right, so that pushed it out a little farther. I think it fills it out just a little bit better. Um, that's actually clipping through on that. Is that is this is there an ET on these wheels? I don't know. Yeah, it's an ET of twenty. No wonder they stick out so far. All right, um, well, crap on me. I should have noticed that. Okay, so. All right, so see how the tire is like slightly sticking out? So we have got to take these off. We have got to go um, with something a little bit different. So let's. Take these off. Let's get another set of these in 18s. Um, we're going to go with an ET of. Go with an ET of 10. Okay, let's go chrome these bad boys up. Man, I thought, you know, I should have looked at that when I had the tire off. I didn't even think about um, looking at, at that. So, giving it an ET at 10, that should work out pretty good. It's half of what it is. got a bushing um while i'm thinking about it let's uh go ahead and jump in here we're gonna get um pick up the transmission i don't think it has any exhaust system on it so i think it's a straight open header be quite honest with you okay get the rubber bushing on okay there we go Please not sticking through the fender. Oh, it is just a little bit. Dang. I'm not like, okay. Shoot. <sighs> Damn it. All right. <sighs> Christ. Here, I thought the back ones were going to be an issue. It's the front ones. So I need a couple more of these, and we are going to have no off center, no offset at all. No, I really need to hire someone because that phone's been ringing off the hook and I probably could be making a lot of business right now. Okay, no offset. I originally thought that maybe I should just go with a zero offset in the first place, but I talked myself out of it in my head. No, I want an ET of zero. Now this will bring the, the, the tires in a, up underneath the car a little bit better. Um, there we go. Stomp these out. Oh, wait, wait, what happened to my starter? Damn. Now, with the 
with the offset of zero, if these don't fit underneath there, my my only solution at this point is to go into the editor and narrow the front end's track. That looks like it works. All right, let's drop you down. Take you off. Put you in. Oh, look at that beastly thing. That thing is beastly. Beastly, I tell you. Oh my god, this does have an exhaust system on it. I am happy as a clam right now. Let's get the uh, starter on it. What are these? What are these? C's? B's. Okay, we got B's in a regular setup here. So, uh, exhaust. I need the B's. It's the B's knees. Parabou shop. Two middle mufflers, two end mufflers, and that is going to do it. Um, what kind of a license plate should I put on this? Beautiful, beautiful, beautifully lines up. Look at that. Uh, well, the exhaust could probably come up a little bit, but other than that, I don't think it looks too damn bad. All right, uh, everything's 100% except for... Oh, wait a minute. Steering wheel, I forgot the steering wheel, front license plate, and the bench. Oh, I forgot the interior. All right, let's, uh, let's move this back to here. Let's open up the doors here. Okay, so... Um... Specter, huh? What does that look like? Hmm. I'm gonna go with the black. <laughs> you know, you have the choice to get those, so. Um, I thought about it. I did think about it. Um, what's the front seat supposed to be anyway? Uh, Mustang Mach 1 seats. That makes sense. Okay, so I thought it would be down here. What am I, am I missing it? Mustang Mach 1, there we go. There's two of those. And then we're just gonna get the racing steering wheel. So the interior's done up. Um, now for some plates. Um, let 
Let's put some Florida plates on it, shall we? Well, let's see. No. Um. West Virginia, Virginia. Yeah, we'll put some main plates on it. Um. Sicko. That's how you spell it, right? S I. Oh, it's one K zero. Oh, I see. I get it. I get it. I get it. S one C K zero. I get it. All right. Um, um, I don't know where the license plate's supposed to be. There is no license plate. Huh. I am not even sure where the license plate is. Okay, so we won't have license plates. I don't see it on there anywhere. Yet, it is listed on here. That's okay. I can go and delete those things and not even worry about it. Alright, um... Let's shut the trunk. Let's send you to the paint shop. Alright, this is going to be the uh, hardest decision I've had to make all day long. What color should I paint this? Um, that's not bad for a factory color. Um, but I don't like it. So let's. We are going to go. I want to go full red, full on red. Should we go yellow? I like that because it's um, got a bit of yellow in that decal. And not too bad, but I think I like the red better. All right, let's uh, take her into the dyno. Oh. Of all the things I usually do, I forgot to put oil in it. Damn. I screwed that up. Okay. Now, let's take her into the dyno. All right, almost a thousand horsepower out of it. 942 with 1,292 pounds of torque. Ouch. Yowza. All right. So there we have it. One sicko Mustang. 1967 Mustang by Fully Sick. All right, so now that I have it sitting here in front of you, let me know what you think. Do I keep it or do I sell it? All right, save or sell, let me know. I will keep an eye on the comments, and I will be chomping at the bit to find out what you guys think of this beautiful Mustang. All right, like I said, save or sell. I will see you the next time on Rat to Rod. This is Hearst Quasar saying good night. Please hit that subscribe button and a thumbs up, and I am out.